Hi, I'm Jonas, and I'm here to present uh, the paper Potentials of Game Engines for Wind Power Digital Twin Development and Investigation of the Unreal Engine. So, there is currently a massive adoption of wind turbines throughout the world, and uh, that comes with some challenges. Some of them are noise and natural life disturbances, wherever these uh, wind turbines or wind turbine parks are. Uh, uh, implemented. Another challenge is the uh, impact of natural disasters on these wind turbines. So we started by looking into potential solutions for these challenges and went over a, a couple of ideas. Some of them were on-site inspections before installing the wind turbines based on uh, the static information available. We also looked into simulations of uh, wind turbines and wind farms for uh, uh, simulating uh, what-if scenarios, but this resulted in maintenance and uh, control uh, being neglected. We then looked into digital twin technologies for uh, wind energy, focusing on the wind turbine components, but this didn't include the wind from the environment. And then lastly, uh, game engines for uh, digital twin development, where there was a lack of state-of-art uh, methodologies. So we ended up for this paper uh, aiming to uh, create a digital twin of a physical environment where wind turbines of different models could be placed and uh, we could estimate their production using historical data of the area or even real-time data from the area to see how it uh, would perform at an instant. Furthermore, we also would, uh, we looked into uh, the potential of using game engines for developing digital twins, in this case, specifically for wind power. So uh, we started out having to select a game engine to develop our digital twin and the two big ones on the market today is Unreal Engine and Unity and both engines have uh, a lot of similarities uh, uh, both in terms of functionality, features, uh, etc but uh, we ended up choosing uh, Unreal Engine due to a higher quality in the physical environment and the physics used in the engine. So uh, our case study in this paper uh, set out in uh, Espia, Denmark, and we used this environment uh, for our digital twin. Uh, in addition, we include two uh, wind turbine models, the Vestas V164 and the Anacon E126. These two wind turbine models was chosen due to similar power ratings and size and uh, cut in and cut out uh, specifications. So uh, our method can, was uh, divided into five steps. And the first step was uh, environment creation using uh, Unreal Engine's uh, world building tools. Second step was the wind turbine design for the logical models of these wind turbines, as well as uh, uh, finding and creating these graphical assets to be placed in the world. The third step was doing uh, the visual interface design uh, allowing for a responsive and clear uh, interface for the users to see how wind is affecting the area. Fourth, we went into the uh, data integration design how and how uh, the physical and the digital twin is connected. In this case, we went for an uh, MQGT setup. And lastly, we uh, and the last step, was to look at the prediction logic design, how we could do a prediction of uh, energy production in that area uh, using uh, data for a series of data. 
So uh, the resulting architecture consists of three main components, the physical twin, the uh, MQTT broker, and the digital twin. So in uh, this case, and throughout the study, the uh, physical twin was uh, mocked by another software application, allowing for increased testability and, uh, and uh, flexibility. And uh, the second part is the uh, MQTT broker uh, allowing f to have a connection. The broker also uh, ensures that we have a low coupling between the digital twin and the physical twin, allowing to change both parts. So the digital twin can exist and the physical uh, twin can be changed. So we could use the actual physical environment, that twin, or we could place in a mocked physical twin as we do in this study. The uh, digital twin, if we zoom in on that, consists of uh, some smaller parts. So we have the uh, environment, which is the real-time component. So it's uh, it's the world navig where you can navigate around and see the visual impact of a wind turbine. We also have the uh, prediction uh, component and uh, both the prediction and the environment component makes use of this wind turbine plugin. Uh, and in addition, the environment makes use of the MQTT plugin to, uh, to be fed uh, the data from the physical twin in real time. So yeah, the environment creation was done uh, using all the built-in tools of Unreal Engine. And these tools allowed for uh, the creation of a uh, landscape and an ocean and natural lighting, uh, giving a highly realistic environment. Also, uh, Unreal Engine came with uh, Quixel Bridge, which is uh, uh, a way of accessing a lot of assets for surfaces, textures, and uh, and the 3D models scanned in the real world, which uh, all can be used for free. And uh, this environment is connected, as I said, through MQTT with the physical twin, where the wind data can be, uh, is injected directly into the uh, digital twin. So uh, this connection was made using uh, an Unreal Engine plugin called MQTT Utilities, which is open source. So uh, MQTT uh, implements the uh, publish subscribe pattern, as I told, that decouples our entities in the, in the system architecture. So, uh, and in addition, we have in the uh, Unreal Engine application, uh, when we receive a uh, data from the physical entity that is distributed in inside the digital twin using an observer pattern allowing for extensibility uh, in uh, uh, in further development the wind turbine plugin was created as a unreal engine plugin to increase the usability this means we can take this plugin and use it in future projects and extend it with uh, additional wind turbines so uh, we uh, we designed an inheritance hierarchy where we have the uh, an interface describing the functionality of a wind turbine this interface is then implemented by an abstract class, uh, ensuring that the right properties are of the wind turbine. And also the abstract class implements uh, the basic functionality of a wind turbine that is the same no matter what wind turbine you are, you're working with. And then in the end you can extend the abstract class with your concrete model filling in the blanks filling in the the uh, the specification and the power curve of the actual model and uh, when we're working with wind and having measures 
we have to adjust the wind speeds and that is due to uh, our wind turbines being at different heights so if we are measuring wind speeds at 10 meters of alti uh, an altitude of 10 meters then we need to adjust this if the hub of the uh, the wind turbine is at a at 100 meters or more so uh, we were doing this using the wind profile power law which we implemented uh, using the blueprint scripting uh, provided by unreal engine so uh, in addition we have the prediction uh, prediction logic which is also implemented using this blueprint scripting language in unreal engine and we attacked the problem with blueprint scripting due to we ha due to the uh, exploratory nature of trying to use unreal engine so not only coding in c++ which is supported but also looking into the more visual scripting so the prediction logic here is created so that it takes a wind turbine model as shown before and the wind data for the period that you want the prediction to occur over and the output you will get from this is then the total production for the period the amount of electricity uh, then it's the hours of production like how many hours did we actually produce uh, electricity how many hours uh, we also get how many hours we were at the rated production of the wind turbine and lastly we get the maximum experienced wind speed at the hub height of the wind turbine and that is to ensure that the wind turbine is in an is in an area where it actually can withstand the wind speeds it experiences so in order to test our solution we uh, build a series of scenarios where we would like to showcase the response of the digital twin when wind speed changes and lastly we would also see how the digital twin reacts to real world data from the area so yeah we had six scenarios uh, the first is where there's no wind then uh, within the range uh, where the wind turbines can't operate then outside the range then with increasing wind power decreasing wind power and then as i said in the end real world data so we see that when there's no wind there's no production when we are in within our real range we are producing and the two different wind turbines experience different wind speeds and when we are outside our operable range they experience the wind but there's no electricity production for the uh, increasing and decreasing wind speeds we see that both uh, wind turbines ramp up as the wind speed increases until the cutoff of the uh, wind turbines are met and in this case the Vestas uh, V164 cuts off uh, a lot before the Enercon. Lastly we had the uh, results based on the real world data and as we see from the figure uh, they follow each other due to the wind speeds being the same but we see that the Vestas have a greater potential for energy production uh, in this area and our data in the table up here also shows that the total electricity production is vastly higher uh, than compared to the Enercon even though the uh, uh, percentage of hours with production is lower than the Enercon in conclusion, Unreal, Energy, Unreal uh, Engine 5 has a great potential for developing digital twin uh, as long as it's for visual uh, applications. So example testing scenarios in, in 3D and it really excels uh, when trying to do these visual, uh, yeah, visual applications with realistic environments. Uh, though you have to note that it is labor intensive to create these environments so uh, prediction capabilities and other logic however is not ideal to, to develop in unreal engine 
but it can however be done but we recommend in the future that that is moved to another part of the architecture